I want I want to import a file called demo txt that it's in my hard drive uh, into R. This file is a quite long file and has data of 65 samples, uh, five constituents, and a lot of wavelengths from 400 to uh, almost. 2500. Um, first I have to define my directory. I can go to change directory and to uh, select uh, where the file is, in this case in C, and uh, so I can go to the command read table and give a name to my uh, table, the name demo. I say that the header is true because I have the name of my constituents and the name of the wavelengths. But now I have to define uh, better my data. Uh, I have to define the visible part of the spectrum with these commands. I give the name bis, visible, and it goes from the column uh, 6 to the column uh, 355 and I define this part as a matrix. I do the same for the near infrared area of the spectra. Uh, in this case the columns goes from 356 to uh, 1055 and I define it as well as uh, a matrix and I call it an IR. Now I'm going to define the name of the constituents that are in the, f in the first five columns. So let's go. Uh, protein in the column 1, fat in the column 2, ash in the third, DM, dry matter in the fourth, and moisture in the five. Now it's time to define my data frame. OK, I'm going to give the name also demo and uh, I use the command data frame and I start writing the name of the constituents I continue uh, here the plus sign say that we, da we don't have finished yet we have to continue writing the rest of the command sorry, the rest of the constituents and the wavelengths. Now we have better defined the data in a data frame and if I we write names and demo, the name of the file, we see the names of uh, the parts we have defined here previously. In order to plot the spectra, that is the idea of this uh, video, we have to define a, sequences, a sequence with the, uh, with the values of the wavelengths. So, I define the visible part, a sequence from 400 to uh, 1098, in steps of 2, because it's taking, uh, the data is every 2 nanometers and I do the same for the near-infrared part from 1100 to 2498 in steps also of 2 nanometers. Now it's time to write the command matplot and to look at our spectra. Let's go. Matplot here are all the names we give previously we are of course only selecting to plot the spectra the NIR, I did not select uh, the visible part, just the NIR and of course here nothing to do with the constituent, uh, the constituents with this, we'll see in, uh, in next post but I have here on the uh, right, I put it here on, on the left, my my spectra uh, is just the, 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 the near infrared uh, part of the spectra goes from 1100 to 200, uh, 2500. 
So uh, I will continue in next post working with this uh, data. You can write an email to me and I'll send you the the file the demo txt so you can play with this uh, tutorial. Thanks.